Angry Pakistani Christians demand the attention of their government. Hundreds of demonstrators gathered in Karachi chanting, stop killing Christians. Officials say more than 80 people were killed in Sunday's bombings. Over 140 were wounded. I fell down and my daughter, who was in my lap, died in front of me. The attack happened as a church service was letting out. A pair of suicide bombers blew themselves up as hundreds of worshippers were coming out of a historic church in Peshawar to get a free meal. A spokesman for a wing of the Pakistani Taliban immediately claimed responsibility. The bombings raised new questions about the Pakistani government's push for a peace deal with the terrorist organization. The, the whole government is shocked by this because, you know, the peace process is going on. And everybody is talking about the peace process between the Taliban and Pakistani government. And in the same time, this incident happened that shows that the non-seriousness of, uh, of uh, the, the peace uh, process of Taliban. The Taliban spokesperson said the attack was in response to drone strikes by the U.S., CBN News Chief International Correspondent Gary Lane explained why that's causing Pakistani Christians to be targeted. Christians are seen aligned with the West, so they attack the Christians because they know they will get attention if they do that. So that's why they target them. Plus, they're the weakest, they're the most vulnerable. And their churches, like this All Saints Church, very visible church, easy target. Christians make up less than 3% of Pakistani's population, Roughly 96% are Muslim. Heather Sells, CBN News.